Hello and welcome to another episode of Come Drive With Me. Today's car is the beautiful Range Rover Velar, which we first reviewed last year. Not only is it quite good to look at, it has one of the best interiors available in any car on the road today. And it's properly comfortable, which makes it just about perfect for our guests. Range Rover sent us a diesel model and off we went to pick up legendary South African rock frontman Francois Van Koek. As the lead singer of both Focke Police Car and Van Koek Cartel, Francois Van Koek has established himself as a South African rock icon and after 14 years on the road, he has no plans to slow down anytime soon. How's it? How's it, man? <laughs> Good How to are see you? you. Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, nice see you. to see you, man. I saw you on the TV the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What was I doing? Driving, probably. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> How much traveling do you do at the moment? How much touring are you Just doing? Just loads, eh? Like, I'm always kind of on the road. January was kind of holiday, because that's the time we're kind of the most chill. People are partied out, you know, <laughs> after December. <laughs> so, Opi Kopi is always very special for us. Like, nice. I've been there every year since 2004. Wow. Um, in some shape or form, either in my solo capacity or with uh, Funko Cartel or Funko. It's funny, I was actually going to ask you about Opi Kopi, because I've never been. And, I, and you're, you're obviously a veteran of the Yeah, that of I've the done Opie. 14. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is there if, there, if you had to tell someone three things on how to survive Opie, what would you, what would you recommend? It's, it's very different now <laughs> for me than when it was when I was 23. At yeah. 23, it was the survival guide was uh, drink as much as you can, do as much mushrooms as you can, <laughs> find somewhere to pass out, just wake up, make the show, you know? For, a 37 year old it is get to the venue play your show get out of there stay in the guest house <laughs> <laughs> van coke's stage name yeah so how, how did you come up with that there was like a coke coca-cola factory in Frendal, mm. and they spoke about some guy called fun coke and and uh, <laughs> we, we were like off but it blood but from coke Okay. But we thought it's it's so funny if the guy's surname would have been Van Coke. So <laughs> it became like the stupid running joke, you know, this guy's Van Coke, this guy Van Coke. <laughs> and then um, when Focke released our first EP, like a, a six song thing in 2003, there was an article in Die Burger and it was a, a quite a positive review about the album or EP. And um, But there was a big photo and it said my full name at the bottom of the photo. Mm. And my, my dad is the Dutch Reformed Minister. Mm. People from the church started phoning the pastori about like <laughs> what's what's wrong with your child, you know, like that oh, wow. kind of So my mom just asked me like, please try not to use your surname in the press anymore. Uh, okay. Because they were like obviously just getting a cut full of all yeah, the phone yeah. calls. So I just in the in the next interview I said my name is Francis van Koch. And that was that. And it stuck. It yeah. stuck. So your your folks weren't trying to say like stop doing what you're doing. No. They just. They just wanted a little tweak so that they could. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, 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 like, it was obviously a, a hectic thing for them. So I think the ideal thing for them was not to have their son sing in a band called Fog of Police Car. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the, the one gig I did watch you guys do, Vaynan did some like insane, crazy karate kick and actually injured himself. <laughs> Oh, and play the shit. rest of the gig on a chair. <laughs> I remember that. That was with the nudies. Yes, with the, yeah, exactly. I remember that, yeah, that, that night good, very well. That was um, a good gig. The nudies are actually quite a big um, inspiration, I think, for us. Okay. So um, I remember when I told my mom I'm starting this Afrikaans band, she was like, you're gonna have to be as big as the Springbok nude girl. <laughs> yeah. Yo, no pressure, mom. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, this is the new Velar, so these things go for about 1.2, 1.3 million. I need one in my life. <laughs> well, I couldn't give him the Velar, but the least I could do was hand over the wheel. So you, you say you drive a, a Ranger, the double cab. Yeah, actually. yeah. I battle to understand why South Africans love Bucky so much. Like, we are Bucky yeah. in this country. <laughs> for me, I think, like, uh, the practicality, mm. you know, like, because I... You know, not every day, but from time to time I have to load amp in somewhere. And okay. 
you know so sure. so it helps with that and like it just feels like you always find a use for it you know okay. I have to take to the dump there's a place <laughs> to put the shit, you know what I mean and lastly, in a topic very dear to my heart, I had to ask Francois about his very own beer, Fock Off Lager. What's the, what's the process to getting a beer out? South Africans really enjoy lagers. Yes. And yeah. we, we knew we, we want to make a lager, something that people can drink a lot of, mm. you know, mm. and, and something that people Easy are used drinking, to. drinking, yeah. Like Devil's Peak Brew. An amount, I can't exactly remember how, how many liters, but lots. And they thought it's <laughs> going to last until the end of the year um, in October. And it only lasts until, until the end of October. Oh, wow. So it's been selling like amazingly above expectation. And uh, that's great. Man. Now we're just going with it. That's a great story. Yeah. So, you know, I think a lager is also a well, beer is something that can last even longer than a band, you know, it can, <laughs> can carry on like yeah. after we, we're not even here. Well, anyone who makes rock music and beer is okay in my books. Check out fuckoffpolicycar.coza and francoisvancoke.coza for upcoming tour dates and info on where to find Fuck Off Lager. A huge thank you to Francois for joining us on Come Drive With Me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, you know, maybe, maybe give it a like and uh, definitely subscribe to be the first to see our videos as they drop. Uh, yeah, definitely do that.